the Cool Cat Jazz coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to showcase my Steeplechase Jazz Record Collection. It is a uh, jazz record company that was created, I think, around 1972 by a guy called Niles Winther when he was in college. Um, it's from Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen is a wonderful city. Been there, I don't know, many times, eight, nine, ten times during the 90s. Um, so, you know, a lot of these uh, jazz cats, when jazz was slowing down and slowly becoming almost obsolete in the United States, a lot of these uh, jazz cats went to Europe, you know, and started recording records and living and, uh, you know, just getting on with life. So I'm going to start off with uh, Jackie McLean here, Steeple Chase 1001. Um, some of these albums are recorded live at uh, Momanch, a jazz house club in Denmark, in Copenhagen. So some of these are really, really, really uh, nice albums. Uh, this one here, it's just wonderful. Jackie McLean, you know, just going off. He's here with uh, Kenny Drew. Uh, 1000, uh, was it 1002? This is Duo. Fantastic album. Uh, I think it was rated four or five stars. I'm not sure. But um, really, really nice. Kenny Drew again. Joe Albany, uh, Bird Time Blues. This is on 1003, 1003. Yeah, 1000, 1003. Really good album. Uh, Johnny Griffiths, Blues for Harvey. Again, with Kenny Drew. Paul Blight. Um, this is uh, 1005. Jackie McLean with uh, Dexter Gordon, Volume 1. This is on uh, 1006. Kenny Drew Solo, Piano, Everything I Love. I think this might be one of his best recordings ever. Definitely must have. There are some really good fucking gems in this Steeplechase collection that's a must. This is Ben Web uh, Webster, live at Malmont in 1973. This was recording... Was, I think it was recorded a couple of months before his death, so kind of eerie. Uh, Jackie McLean and Gary Barth. Deal 2, Kenny Drew, Niels Henning. This is on 1010. And this is one of the must-have or the gem out of this whole catalog, and this is Flight to Denmark with Duke Jordan. Uh, this recording party comes in second after his flight to Jordan on the Blue Note label. Must have. This is, man, last I looked, it has, it's been a while, man. Original pressing was going for upwards of 150 bucks, But you can't get the inner city uh, record label or even Japanese uh, pressings for a really good price. Must have. Must, must, must have. Uh, Horace Parlin, Trio, Quintet. Uh, Arrival, I think this is his first recording, man, over a decade. Same thing with uh, Flight to Jordan. I think it was more than a decade. I mean, 12, 13 years after his last recording. Um, I think this might be his first recording after Blue Note. A Ghetto Lullaby, Jackie McLean, Blowing Hard. Ken McIntyre, Hindsight. Um, probably, again, what, I think I have Ken Ken. McIntyre. I think I have a record with him on Prestige with him and Eric Dolphy. But this is magnificent. Not really. I don't have a really good copy of it. Uh, really hard to get. Uh, Anthony Braxton. Tete Montelu in, in the tradition. Uh, you know, this avant-garde uh, player. It's wonderful. And this is no exception here. Another one by Kenny Drew. Dark Blue Beauty. Catalonian Fire and the record lives up to its name. He's just, Tete Montalou is just fucking going off on this one. Wonderful album. The Source, Jackie McLean and uh, Dexter Gordon. Uh, you know, Dexter, man, big Papa Bear blowing. Um, Jackie McLean and the Cosmic Brotherhood. Uh, I guess he's, he's playing with some young cats here. Really good album. This is Big Papa Bear here, man. Dexter Gordon, The Apartment. If you like his Blue Note stuff, you will love this album. Again, all these are original Steeplechase pressings. Andrew Hill Trio, Invitation. Wonderful album, I think. In my opinion, I think Andrew Hill might be one of our greatest composers 
um, ever in the United States. Really good album. Jackie McLean and Michael Carvin. Uh, Antiquity. This is on 1028. Now this one, Visitors, current areas, Dan is a jazz, funk, rock record. It's really wonderful. It gets, uh, it gets kind of heavy there in a little bit, but very rare. Um, again, you can probably get the inner city pressing for, I don't know, five, six bucks. Uh, Clifford Jordan and the Magic Triangle, Firm Roots. I think this might be his best outing with that group, so... Divine Revelation, uh, Andrew Hill Quartet. Um, very complex, very intimate record. Um, it's card, uh, a certain, you know, it's Andrew Hill, so I'm not going to complain. But very hard to get. Again, probably get a, a copy in, on um, Inner City Records. Ari Shep and Horse probably going home. Wonderful. Another Juke. Duke Jordan Quartet, Duke's Artistry. Horse Parlin, Blue Parlin, Danny Richmond, Wilbur Little. This is on, what was it, 1124. Artie Schapp and Horse Parlin, Trouble in Mind, wonderful record. And my last one here is kind of an oddball. I think the Steeplechase did like a couple of other. I picked this up for nothing, man. It was like six, seven bucks. Um, it's on this yellow label here. Oh, fucking awful, man. It is an awful fucking recording. Music's okay. But, you know, where it says that, you know, music matters and the pressing doesn't, they're full of shit. It renders my complete fucking system. It renders it null, basically. All that fucking shit I built right there, they it can't squeeze any fucking musicality out of this fucking record. So there you have it, guys. That is the my steeplechase collection. I know it's a, it's a um, record label that I don't think anyone has put up on uh, YouTube. So there you have it. Peace and keep it jazzy.